And welcome back. A summer campfire isn't complete without some of these. Darren Mark is making dessert s'more style. <laughs> We are celebrating National S'mores Day at Hotel Phillips, specifically Phillips Chop House, which is the restaurant here. This is the executive chef, Kenneth Hardiman, and we are working on a recipe that's on the menu, the dessert portion. It is the most incredibly delicious, decadent s'mores dish I've ever had before. Let's get right into it. Where do we start? All right, uh, Darren, first of all, we start off with melting our chocolate and our butter together. Uh -huh. As we have this melted, next we're gonna go to our sugar and uh, egg mixture okay. that should be mixing. Um, we already have it mixed pretty well right now. Let's just so, take it off here. Correct. So we are making several different components that comprise this dish. One of the components is a chocolate cake, and that is what all of these ingredients are gonna work towards. Correct, yeah. And Next, we're gonna just uh, add in our chocolate and butter mixture mm -hmm. into the uh, egg and sugar mixture. Yep. Make sure that's pretty well incorporated in here. Uh, and the last know. piece is some flour, flour right in front of it. Correct. You know, when you go to the grocery store, you see all different kinds of flour. You see bleach, you see unbleached, you see baking flour for bread, flour not for bread. What kind do you use in this? This is just going to be regular all-purpose flour. Uh -huh. nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. Just something that you can do at home. Um, this mixture needs to, once this is fully incorporated, this mixture needs to chill for at least 30 minutes, and then you're going to go for, um, if you're going to bake it right away. The ideal thing, time to let it uh, chill, will be four hours. Okay. Um, this is what it's going to look like after it's set and chilled for a while, and you get it into your dish ready to uh, bake off there. And then uh, after you've baked it, it looks like this, this right over here. This is the finished product right here. We have the liquid center chocolate cake. All right, we are about to assemble this. In the meantime, I'm going to char some wood over here in this pan, and I'm gonna explain why I'm doing that in a second, but I'll let you work over there. So on one corner of the dish, you've got the cake, yes. and then in back of that, I see a little shot glass filled with, it looks like, I don't know, some kind of malt or chocolate milk it's or something our, like that. It's our chocolate malt, and that's just an accompaniment to the uh, s'mores dish. We have uh, so many different components to this dish as well. We have the marshmallow sauce that you're gonna be toasting at the end after the wood chips. And then um, to make that sauce, you guys did this whole intricate process where you started with simple syrup, and you actually made marshmallows from scratch, but for those of us at home that don't have like 20,000 hours to make marshmallows from scratch, you could just go by fluff or something? Correct, correct, Darren. I would say that's not gonna be a problem. Um, uh, what I like to do is, on, on this dish, we have our graham cracker ice cream that we add on this as well. Um, you have the smoke going on here already. Right, this I'm is gonna ready to go. Toast uh, this in the meantime a little bit so we have a little bit of a charred campfire effect because, of course, part of the s'mores experience is roasting on a campfire, and that's exactly what you're creating right exactly. now. Exactly. What's happening what, in the pan? In the pan right now, we are chap, uh, trapping the uh, smoke glasses, and we're just going to put that over here. And then once you take it to your table, you have the full effect. You have s'mores okay. just trapped here. Marshmallow, graham cracker ice cream. That's where the graham crackers Correct. come in, and tons of chocolate. What do we do with the glass? You pull the glass off. Voila. Oh my gosh, it smells like a campfire. That's incredible. <laughs> you are like the David Copperfield of the culinary world. He's gonna walk through the wall of China and hide an airplane with a huge curtain. <sighs> Maybe not immediately, <laughs> but I think you can work up to that. I can do that. With practice, <laughs> with help from the dog over here, baby. Hey. Hi. Yeah, that's what All I'm right, talking man. about. K.H. Kenneth Hardiman, one recipe of two. We'll be back at Hotel Phillips, the Phillips Chop House after this with the second s'mores recipe to celebrate this incredible day. How unique is that, hiding a campfire under a glass? That's pretty cool. Creative. Here's a look at what's going on around town. Survive